Hey, what up guys, how you doing? My name is Cyril Zuma. I'm a portrait lifestyle, wedding and events photographer based in Johannesburg, South Africa. Welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. And please click that subscribe button so you can get notifications every time I post a video, just like the ones that I'm about to post for you guys now. So I got a text the other day, um, a tweet rather, and basically it was from one of the, you know, the ladies that has been watching my threads uh, on photography and she was asking me, how do I get started with product photography? She told me the camera she has, she told me the lens that she has. And I couldn't really quite figure it out, to, you know, what advice to give to her. So I thought, let me start with a simple video on how to make product photography. Now, product photography is pretty, it's pretty cool because what you can do is build something called a light box. Light box is basically a little studio that you can take anywhere and plunk your product in there, put lights onto the sides and voila. But before you get started, let me show you how to build this light box. So the first thing that you're going to need is a box. I got one of these from like a local grocery store that we're basically throwing them away. You can see it's an old ass box, but I'll definitely still use it. The second thing that you're going to need is this little baby here. So what this is, is a seamless paper. Um, it's non-glossy and basically it can bend like this and it's going to be used as the backdrop um, in, in the photos. These go about 42 Rand at CNA or PNA. So go and get yourself one of these here. Yeah? The next thing that you're going to need is this clear paper here. I don't know what it's called but you are definitely going to need one of these. What it does is just basically diffuses light. So I've got a light next to me here using one of these diffusers here. And basically, let me show you the difference. Right. So I'm going to take this off and you can see the light. And then what I'm going to do is put it back on. Now the light looks a bit smoother. So get yourself three of these. And you definitely will need three of these, two or three of these actually should work and you'll be fine. The next thing that you're going to need is a fluorescent light. Now I've got also one of these from a local store, they're about 17 Rand, so get two of these. The other thing that you're going to need is sellotape. Go look in your garage, go to the store, go buy one, pretty cheap. Next thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors. Still your little brothers or your sisters if you have to, but get scissors. You need one of these, or you can also use one of those, um, I think it's a cardboard knife or something like that. It's really fancy, but I'm really teaching you guys how to do this on a budget, so get yourself some scissors. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to need a lamp. And basically you'll be using this on the side and I'll show you how you guys can do that. Other thing you can do is get yourself one of these, um, what is this, polystyrene boards. I just got a really small one and I use it to bounce light. So, you know, if, if we're talking with the light that's probably coming this side, you can use it to bounce light. So the light will come and hit and it will go through this side because there's nothing that's stopping it, it will carry on going there. But luckily I've got a window next to me here. So window lighting actually works too, but basically used to be bounced. So I can place this anywhere, anyhow that I want to. It's not necessary, but do get one of these here. And that's about it. So let us build this light box. Okay guys, so the first thing that you really want to do is cut out holes on the side here. So what I'm going to basically do is, I'm just gonna use my pencil here and I'm going to go across, just marking where I am going to make the hole. And basically this hole here will be used um, for the light. So remember I said you need some scissors and you basically need one of these. Okay, so, you know, take your time with this process. I'm just showing you the quick way on how to do it. So make sure you do take your time. Okay, so now that you've got the hole on this one side here, you also need a hole on the other side here. So make sure you do your measurements and make sure the measurements are the same size or smaller rather then where you're gonna put the sheet of paper, I'll show you just now. 
So, okay, so your photo box should look something like this. You've got a hole on this side and you've got a hole on this side. Now, the next thing that you need is your tape and you are going to need the clear paper I told you about. So, let's put this on. So once you've created the two holes on each side and you've got your paper ready, you basically just want to place this over there, get your solid tape and get working. Okay, so let's do this very quickly. Okay, so now that you've got your box on both sides, I didn't really do quite a good job, but once you've got these both sides here, the next step for you is to actually put on the backdrop. Now, remember the backdrop is this little piece of paper here, and we can utilize that. So how this is going to sit is basically like this on the backdrop. And so we basically need to apply some tape at the top here, and some tape at the bottom here, and we'll be sorted. So let's do that and see how it comes out. Okay, so while you've got your whole backdrop now in here, it looks pretty cool, it stands like that. The one thing I did is I tore this. So they're very easy to tear, so make sure you get at least three or four sheets that you can work around with. Um, so while I fix that, Let's, um, yeah, let's fix this actually. I mean, we can't shoot like this. This is very bad. This is like, hello. <laughs> okay, so now that you've got your whole light box sorted out, you've got your whole backdrop here, it's looking pretty cool. The next thing you need is obviously your products. So just pop your product in there, place them however you want. The next thing that you are going to need is a light. Now, remember I said you must buy two fluorescent lights? Well, you can definitely do that. So let me show you this. Now, we're gonna switch on this light here and we're gonna place it this side here. Yeah, at the moment, it has no direction. It is literally just the light coming in. The next thing we're going to do is then add a second light onto our product here. So I'm going to remove this and make it as bare as possible. And pop my light in there. Now this is a 330 watt light. So you can buy this from like one of your builder's warehouse or a, um, a factory. And voila, you've actually got some lighting. Now the other trick you can do is actually create another hole at the top here and uh, where you will have another light coming down, looking down, but that doesn't really matter. So now what you can start doing is looking at your product and you can start taking some shots, just like that, and I think it looks so cool. So remember, you can actually start now playing around with different types of light. So you can shape your light however you want. You can put your light wherever you want. It's really up to you, but always make sure there's lighting coming in. This one is stronger than um, the, the one on, on the other side. So you probably just want to take it back a little bit, um, but play around with your light and see what works for you and what doesn't work. So now that I've got my product on there, I'm going to take out my DSLR and start shooting. Okay, and now I've got some amazing product shots. I've got some amazing product shots. Let me add something else onto here. Let me add that beard oil. Move the clothes the lights just a little bit closer and now it looks magical now it looks like everything i need it to look like okay perfect and now i've got that picture on there and i can start editing however i want by the way with my dslr at the moment i am shooting at um a shutter speed of 90 iso 100 f 2.8 i'm going to take up my shutter speed from 90 to 125 increase my iso and leave um, my f-stop as it is and take another picture okay see 
this is basically what you're working with now. Okay, so you can start doing anything you want on there, especially girls who've got jewelry. Remember your angles, obviously work with your angles, see what you want to shoot. Use your angles as much as you can. What else can we put in here? Let's say for argument's sake, we wanted to put this here. So you style it however you want. I'm not, a, I'm not good styling at all, so I will not even attempt that. But I'll put this there and I can start taking a nice shot. Take another one. And basically these are the pictures that you're working with here. Again, as I said, you can literally put anything on there. I'm going to try one more product, which is a ring. Now, again, you know, I could take the light, bring it to the front here, uh, depending on if I want those hard shadows uh, on my object, it's really up to me. Um, on top of that, what I can do is just diffuse it a little bit more using the, that paper that I told you guys about. So now it's a little bit more diffused. Let me get in and take a nice shot of that. That's a very nice ring. Perfect. Okay, so a little bit overexposed there, but play around with your settings and see what works for you. Okay. See, if we're looking at the photo of the ring, this is what we're talking about there. Let me shift the light to this side here. Take out the diffuser, position it in the same place, and take another picture from above. Not the best of pictures. <laughs> hey, let's try one more product. I'm going to use this good old Olo clip. Um, I'm just going to place that on here so I can see the fish eye sign. I think I'm happy with everything else. And I can get in here and start shooting these. Uh, let's see how these look. Okay, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I actually like them. I'm happy with them. So, go ahead at home, build your own studio. A portable low product studio and start taking some shots go out there explore do a lot of things and the one thing that you mustn't be is afraid to 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 try out things so try out small little things see if it works if it doesn't work there yeah. okay so there you have a chance a quick and easy way on how to build your own photo box it's a nice and easy photo studio that you can build probably for less than i don't know i want to say less than 300 bucks you can get all these utensils and you'll be fine cool so if you really enjoyed that please do subscribe to my youtube channel please also tell friends about this youtube channel tell friends about anything and yeah keep looking at my content and leave me comments below on how to make this prettier this really does suck so if you do want to help me make this look a bit prettier we can do another video and make it look 10 times prettier but yeah that's the simplest way on how to do it thank you very much goodbye